Go ahead, Trey. Yeah, Coach, uh, just your thoughts on how things have gone. Th I think nine practices so far. So uh, how, how's the offense looking so far? Uh, looks good. I think we're, you know, third year in a system. So obviously that makes a big difference. And then having your quarterback back, which um, is just you can't, can't put a price tag on that, just having that guy back with experience. Uh, it's actually the first time in my career as a coordinator having a returning starting quarterback. So it's just so nice to be able to have that, speak the same language, knows what to expect. Um, main thing is staying healthy. So through nine practices, we've been able to do that. So that's the most important thing. You've moved a lot of places. You've been your, you're going on your third year now. That's right. Um, so I was curious about Malik. And uh, he's worked at wide receiver. Obviously, that's a, a package that you guys are, are interested in. How difficult is that also? Because you're a little short-handed at quarterback now, yep. um, to feel comfortable putting him out there, and you know you, you do risk a, a bit of an injury. Also, uh, chances every time you put him at wide receivers. How do you find that balance, and uh, just your thoughts on how that package is working? Yeah, um, it is. It is a unique balance with him. Um, you know, first of all, talking quarterback, just incredibly pleased with where he's at um, mentally over everything else. You know, he's got the ability. We all know that. Um, but taking care of the football and making good decisions is, is above all else, playing that position. So um, he's been able to do that. I'm really, really excited about where he's at. Um, obviously, we're a little bit different if he's playing the quarterback position, and uh, we'll call it that way. But um, yeah, just very pleased you know, how he's attacked that and held that number two spot and uh, done a really nice job and honestly put pressure on KJ the way that he's playing. So um, really excited about what he's done there. And then he's such a, you know, an elite athlete. Um, and, you know, you got 85 guys on scholarship just to try to get the best guys on the field to help you win. Obviously, um, you know, we lost a lot of receivers, so trying to give a little boost to that room as well and, and not doing a whole lot with him, uh, to be honest with you, but just, just um, finding ways to be able to get him on the field um, and playing, you know, several different positions. So uh, that's what we've been able to do this spring. It's been good to look at. Hey, Ken, Jaden Hazelwood seems like a unique talent. Wondering what you think about him and guys who've made moves in spring. Um, yeah, Hazelwood's had a really good nine practices. Uh, very, uh, if you if you talk to him, very mature, smart kid. Uh, so picking up the playbook and, and all those things have been really fast for him. He's a fast learner. Uh, you tell him something one time and he's got it. Um, and you know he's an experienced experienced guy. So he's done it. He's played at a high level um, before he got here. And, um, you know, you get anything close to him, he catches a football. You know, he's got a little bit of a nagging injury with a shoulder that he's battled through the spring. So he's been in a green jersey for the most part, uh, which is a non-contact jersey. So uh, really pleased with what he's, he's done from a mental standpoint. Him and uh, Bryce Stevens have been splitting reps with the ones, and uh, both those guys are competing. Uh, but but Jaden definitely, he'll, he'll be on the field for us whenever we go play. Um, you know, there's a host of guys that – you know, you can say have made moves, um, you know, and, and the moves aren't done being made, you know, so there's there's a lot of a ball left to be played here with these six practices. And then once we get in fall camp, so, you know, you know, you can talk about all the positions and all that right now, but there's a lot of battles that are going to be out there. So that's probably going to be moving. We just talked to Barry about year three in this system and what why he's why he's back. You've had opportunities. What's what's the appeal for you to be here in season three? Um, head football coach Sam Pittman, um, working working for him. Um, you know, University of Arkansas, State of Arkansas, and you know, um, there's not. I don't say there's not a ton of loyalty in in college football uh, as far as coaching, but you know, I, I felt you know loyal to Coach Pittman, giving me the opportunity to be here, and um, you know, obviously you got to look at everything from a career standpoint, and and what do you think is best, and um, I felt like I made the right move staying here and, and being being with, with the guys and the coaches and the coaching staff and being able to keep all that intact um, is, is pretty unique. Um, a lot of times you don't get that. And, you know, the players, I mean, you know, having KJ back, that it would have been really, really hard to, to look at KJ and tell him that I wasn't going to be here um, um, just because I love the kid and respect him so much and, and want him to be able to achieve his goals. So. Being here for the players um, and in the state, and you know, raising a family here, there's not a better place to do that. So, uh, absolutely love it here, and hope I can stay a long time. Hey, Kendall, I was wondering specifically about Keytron Jackson, just what kind of spring he's having, and what maybe you want to see from him. You know, as you guys, you know, get closer to closing this thing out in the yeah. spring. Ultra talented, 
a uh, big guy. If you look at him on the field, um, he looks like an SEC West receiver. Um, and honestly, he came here really raw. Um, he's just a, kind of a raw player, uh, but very, very athletic, a lot of explosion. And like I said, he's big frames, 25 foot long jumper. Um, he is playing as good as he looks now. Um, so that's important. And he's catching the ball well. He's been able to separate. He's made contested catches. Um, his mental side was not really where it needed to be last year, but it didn't have to be. We had some, some older guys that really he wasn't going to push enough to beat out. Um, but he's done a really, really nice job. I think he's, um, he's going to be a big weapon for us because he can run and he can go down the field and make plays. So um, I think he'll be as fast or faster than anybody that we put on the field from the receiver position last year. Burks may disagree with that, but on the outside at least. Cunningham was kind of underrated left tackle last year. Just how how's that position, you know, how's that looking for you this spring with Luke Jones and the other guys you've had there? Yeah. You said he was underrated? Yeah, maybe by, you know, people, maybe not by you, but Yeah, by, okay. But, he but, wasn't yeah, underrated was for by, us. You know, just in general, yeah. you know, people kind of look past him. Maybe. That's right, yeah. Um, you know, they look past him until they make a mistake, and then you look right at him. And so he, he limited – a lot of the mistakes that we had protecting KJ's backside last year and did a really nice job in the run game. So uh, those guys, you know, Luke Jones has been playing that position. He's done a nice job. Um, you know, Luke knows that we've told him, you know, physicality has got to be the biggest thing for him. And, and he's, he's done a nice job that this spring. Coach Kennedy does a fantastic job coaching those guys. Um, but Luke's had a really good spring and there's some good competition with that group. I uh, really like where our O-line is right now. And, um, and hopefully Luke can continue to – uh, to progress and stay healthy. Anybody else that you, you see contending there? At the left tackle spot? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Latham, you know, he can play there. He's gotten some reps there. You know, we'd like to be able to keep him in at guard, but he is athletic enough to be out there and play. Um, Tykes Crawford has, has had a really nice camp so far, but he's been on the right side just because we've, we've been real smart with uh, Wagner. Um, uh, just make sure we're keeping him healthy. The guys played a ton of ball. Uh, so Ty Keese has gotten a lot of those reps. But, uh, no, I think Jones has done a nice job. Ty Keese would probably be the one if we moved over there that could really challenge him at this point. But where our needs are, that's those guys are split on different sides right now. Coach, you mentioned having, you know, this being the third year in the system, kind of making a pretty big difference. I just wonder what you feel like, how you feel like this program has progressed um, and this offense since you've been here. Yeah, I mean, program-wise, it's um, – it's pretty awesome to be a part of, really. Um, just the excitement of, you know, the people that love Arkansas football that are from here, from the state of Arkansas, that, um, you know, you hear them talk about the lean times and not being excited to come to games and all that kind of stuff. And I, and that's that's every, you know, that's all sports. You know, everybody's doing really well right now and everybody feeds off each other. So um, we got to hold up our end of the bargain. And, um, you know, from a recruiting standpoint, we're recruiting well and getting those players in here to be able to help us and sustain uh, the SEC West. As we know, it's it's brutal. And um, our non-conference schedule is really difficult. Um, so there there are no games at all that you can say that that's going to be a win. I mean, you got to have to go out and you have to fight and scratch and claw to win every single one of them. Um, but our team is is made of tough, toughness, you know, with Coach Pittman. You know, he's is what it is. He's old school tough guys. And, uh, and that's the way the team plays. And uh, that's the way the coaches coach, too. So I feel good about where we're at as a program. Coach, tied in. I know Trey Knox has gotten the wreck and had a concussion, and you got Hudson Henry. But who, who do you feel good about tied in? I mean, do you feel good about more than just those two? Yeah, Nathan Bax has done, had a really nice uh, camp. He's done a great job. He's played with our ones a bunch. Um, and he's been one of those guys that, you know, if, if guys were to get injured in practice, you'd plug him in last year and you really don't miss a beat. He doesn't look flashy or, or look like he's a great player, but he doesn't he doesn't mess things up either. So he can he can get out there, he can process information quickly, and he can be right. Um, you know, he's not Jay Novacek right now, but he didn't have to be. So he's he's doing a really good job. And then uh, I like the freshman that we just got here. You know, young kid Tyrus Washington from Georgia. He's he's done a nice job as well. I think we got maybe um, seven guys that are all midterms uh, that have come in. So we've gotten. It's it's great to be able to have those guys at practice, but but Hudson's done a really good job in backs, and then Tyrus has done a nice job as well. Um, I had a question, KJ. Uh, good sophomore year. 
what are his points of emphasis to, to be a better quarterback next year? And I want to combine that with how's Kate Fortin looking too. Okay. Yeah, KJ, great, great year last year. You know, to at the end of the day, it's about winning uh, at the quarterback position. And do you do you win football games? And you do that with a lot of variables. Um, but do you win? And he was able to win games last year. And a lot of times, you know, put the team on his back and go do it. So. Uh, really proud of where he's at um, as a leader uh, on and off the field. And, um, you know, with things that he needed to get better at, uh, the RPO, RPO world that, you know, y'all are all familiar with, and, and being able to put the ball in the belly of the running back and be able to snap real fast and get it out and be accurate with it, especially to moving targets. Um, SEC West is, is tight windows, and so you got to be very accurate with it. Um, that's the things we've been working on is being able to be incredibly fast and compact with his release and get the ball out and, and hit guys in the face, which with what we're trying to do. Um, so he's done a really good job of that. Um, and, and basically his leadership, I think, has been uh, just so key in, in the success of the offense moving forward. Uh, Fortnite, uh, Cade Fortin's done a, a really nice job. He's a tremendous kid if you get a chance to talk to him. Uh, very, very smart, low maintenance. Um, you know, he I would say he's been perfect from decision making, except for his uh, decision on two minute today. We didn't throw the ball out of bounds. Uh, besides that, he's he's been great. He's great in the room. The players really like him. He's an experienced guy. You know, he's played at North Carolina, played at South Florida, and played meaningful snaps. Um, so I think we we stole one getting him here, and he's actually got two years. So um, great to have him in the room. Um, it's it's amazing that he's here and playing the quarterback position and uh, how how smart he is to be able to make decisions and know what we're doing. So it's been nice. We saw you guys run the gauntlet drill the other day, and I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you've done it before here. But what what do you get out of that? What's the what's the purpose? Yeah, that was actually the first time we've done it here. Um, I I like to do that everywhere I've been. Um, you know, our receivers had dropped have been dropping the ball a little bit in practice, and Coach Gott and I got together and said let's let's make them run really fast and have to catch a bunch of balls and uh, put emphasis on it mainly is, is just putting emphasis on it, them having to catch. And um, I think I wore the quarterbacks out a little bit during that drill because they had to throw a bunch, but it was a very productive drill. Uh, but it's just guys uh, reacting, having to find the target, catch it, and then snap and find the next one. And it, and it happens in a hurry and they're all trying to stay down the line and run fast doing it. So. Uh, we'll we'll probably do that again. It was a really good drill. So it's a big help for quarterbacks and receivers, then, really. Yeah, I mean it's a lot of work, a lot of reps for guys, and um, there's not a whole lot of lax time unless you get through it, and then you wait until the next time you go. But it's a pretty up tempo drill, so guys are getting a lot of work, and they they really enjoy doing it too. Last one, Trent. Good practice for the NFL Combine, also. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I was curious about Renfro. Uh, when are you guys hoping to get him back? And um, how does that? I mean, is an ACL, I mean, August, September, when, when, when do you think you'll get him back? He's he's saying that he's going to be ready for fall camp. Um, we'll see. You know, everybody heals differently. Um, I think he's a little behind personally. Um, I'd like to see him moving around a little bit better. Um, but, I mean, we got great medical staff. They know what they're doing, and, and Dave Plansky's done a great job with him in his rehab. So he's going to end up being fine. Um, he takes care of his body. The thing I worry about more than anything is just – how thin you get, you know, just because he's not able to be in the weight room and he's a guy that needs it. So that's that's what I worry about a little bit more than anything. And that that goes on to being healthy when he does get back, you know, just having the weight and the muscle on him uh, to support his frame. So uh, he can throw the heck out of the ball and he's really, really smart. So it's been it's been good having him. He just he's got to get well. So we'll see how he progresses. And the second team offensive line, you got four starters returning on the offensive line, but I was curious what goes through your mind when you see, I mean, they average like 340 pounds yeah. per man. It might be the biggest offensive yeah. line in all of football. What goes through your mind when you see that second group drop at the trot out there? Uh, I like that 340 pounds to move a little quicker at times because you got a bunch of big dudes out there that um, haven't been in the offense long, and so they're thinking – Obviously, Coach Odom, defensively and what they're doing, there's a lot of different fronts and things that we're having to process offensively up front. But, um, you know, in the recruiting world, and obviously we're able to recruit those guys here, um, if you miss, miss big, you know. And we got big guys, and I don't think any of them are misses. Uh, Coach Pittman and Coach Kenny have done a hell of a job recruiting those guys. So very excited about the future.
Thanks, guys. What's up?